The word perplexity may mean a state of confusion or lacking clarity. But someone who is absolutely clear at this point is perplexity.ai's founder and our Chennai boy Arvind Srinivas. He, with his AI-based search engine, is on a mission to trounce Google as the prime internet search engine. Let's talk a little bit about Arvind's background. While much is not available in public about Arvind's childhood or his schooling, in an interview, he has revealed that he is from Chennai and also a cricket aficionado. And you're from Chennai, right? Yeah, I'm from Chennai. Yeah. There's a lot of people here who are from Chennai. Like, uh, I think is, the, is there something special about that city in India? Because I keep meeting so many people from there. Well, I think there are a lot of nerds there. Uh, like a so nerd city. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like uh, cricket is the most popular sport in India. There is like a saying in among the cricket circles that the crowd in Chennai that goes to the stadium is more the nerdy crowd that appreciates cricket more than like, you know, and supports the local team or something like that. Arvind is a dual degree holder in electrical engineering from the prestigious IIT Madras. Despite his engineering discipline, Arvind is said to have also developed an interest in artificial intelligence and machine learning during his studies at IIT. He hence did some extra courses and research under IIT Madras's well-known computer science professor, Dr. Balaraman Ravindran. Arvind credits a lot of what he is today to this game-changing move of his in campus and also spoke about it during a homecoming talk at IIT. How did you get to saying that, okay, fine, I want to research in AI? Like how, what was the journey? What was the roadmap there? What led you to that? I mean, I had a good professor. He was pretty exciting. And uh, so, so yeah, we, we took this machine learning class. It used to be very hard to get into the class. And I think Professor Ravindran, you know, <laughs> Professor Ravindran, I mean, yeah. yeah, so everybody tried to get into the class, and he, his exams were super hard. So obviously, when, when, when you find a challenge, you want to take it, right? From IIT, Arvind secured a PhD admit in computer science at the University of California, Berkeley. This university is among the top universities for AI research in the US as well as in the world. Arvind also mentions he got a good thesis advisor in Peter Abil, who was also the advisor for OpenAI's mastermind, John Shulman, at that time. During his doctoral, he made a few good moves. First, interning at DeepMind, which had the number one AI lab back in 2019. He used to visit DeepMind's library often and struck upon two books. The first, How Google Works, and the second, In the Plex. Perhaps these two gave him an epiphany that successful degree or doctorate holders can also be great Silicon Valley entrepreneurs and stalwarts. This was at the time when Silicon Valley was all about dropping away from education or bunking classes, staying back at the dorm and starting a great company. Arvind then tried another research internship with the inventor of Transformers at Google, Transformers being a path-breaking AI architecture. Then he also worked at OpenAI after his PhD. As for Perplexity, the AI search engine itself, it was based on a passion for information search by Arvind. At the core, Perplexity has an AI search program which uses GPT's 3.5 model. Its underlying tech is RLHF or Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback. I am now trying to explain RLHF in a way that I understood like a rookie. We have two actors here, a human to interact with the perplexity AI and the AI itself that has been pre-trained on vast amounts of data already. When the human asks a query, the AI gives the best answer that it could at the moment. That may still not be the accurate answer. So the human gives a low rating to the AI and then provides feedback to the model on where it went wrong.
the next time around in a different query the updated model may give a more accurate answer the human then shares a top rating as a feedback so that the model's learning is reinforced to test the ai's power perplexity took the machine and ran it over twitter application treating it like a free and an open database through this arvind was to able to demo how his search engine could query and give insights and stats about individuals and groups and their relationships with each other the next was about reaching out to investors for money nat friedman and eliad gill were approached where arvind says he had just emailed them and then they responded to listen to his idea the investors played with the demo and asked the founders to get up to 1000 users for the funding but they did say that their search engine was way better than google once perplexity went online in 2022 michael dell the ceo of dell computers was one of the users who congratulated the founders on building a great product in january 2024 another shot in the arm for perplexity when it raised more than 70 million through a series b funding from a star studded investor list of jeff bezos nvidia navel ravikant balaji srinivasan and so on the company's valuation now stands at about 520 million so will perplexity beat google we don't know but even daring to beat google has made the city and its people really proud of you arvind